Captain Cook here. Welcome to another installment of FEC TV. Fish every cast. Today, we got a little bit of different program for you, something very interesting. We're gonna tell you as much as we can about a fish that we call on the East Coast ribbon fish. They got a way to catch them here from the Asians, Filipino, Korean, Chinese, they catch them a different way. They use bait hanging down in the water, two thirds deep. We are gonna be jigging, with my favorite as you know, the straws. And we're gonna have a little competition to see which fish bites which bait. So I've got a couple of people here. If you check these guys out. This is Charlie. This is Mr. Charlie. Charlie, where are you from? Uh, from uh, Atlanta, Georgia. Georgia. Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah, he's originally wrote, from South Korea. Yes, South Korea. Yeah. He's rode six, five, six hours to get here. Wow. Yeah. You got some fish in here? Uh huh. Okay, can we see them? Okay, so you see here? Yes. Okay. Oh! No way! Uh -huh. Are you kidding me? You, you, wait a minute here. Look at the size of this thing. Oh my god. Oh, there's some big ones. Uh, I'm, look at this. Do you know? Do you know what this is? This is called here on the southeast coast. We call this a ribbon fish. And uh, Mr. Your name is Same? Uh, same Pop. Now, here's where we need to get a close up. Look at the teeth on this creature. Oh my lord. I already know if they bite you, uh, it may not kill you, but it'll bleed for like 20 minutes. Oh my lord. So, what do you do? You don't get bit. Okay, this is, uh, we call them ribbon fish around here, but in Florida, they call them belt fish, I've been told. Uh, they're actually called cutlass fish. What kind of bait are you using? Uh, and actually, it's a ribbon fish, and then the Wait a minute. You're saying you're you're saying you're catching ribbon fish. Uh -huh. Oh look, he's got one over here. Wow. And uh -huh. ay, ay, ay. And, and he's got ribbon fish bait on that hook. You're catching ribbon fish uh -huh. with more ribbon fish. Uh -huh. Oh my god. What up? I'll see another piece of bait up here. This one's kind of dried out a little bit. But you're using pieces of mullet as uh -huh. well? Uh-huh. As well, uh -huh. cut bait, but ribbon fish on oh, catching ribbon works pretty good. Okay, listen, I don't see any. Uh, uh, we need to see what kind of hook you so got a rig. We hooked uh, like this. Oh, there you go. Uh -huh. Wow, this one that uh, this small one, small one, and that is a medium. Okay, medium like wow, yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that one. That's a, okay, that's. Not too, I can't show you, I don't know what size that is, but there you go. They, and it's very sharp. Yeah, these are like self-hooking. They, they're hanging, you're hanging the bait down about two, off the bottom, about two thirds deep. Is that right? Two thirds way down. And you put the ribbon fish on here. Can you show me? Can you show me how you put this one on here? Here, the people? Here, and And once again, in there like that. Like this. And they just, coming to get it, uh -huh. coming to eat it. Oh my God, wow, okay. Well listen, that's very interesting. I'm watching you closely. And Mr. Charlie here, I'm watching Mr. Charlie. Um, they had, they've been biting pretty good. Let's take another look right quick in this cooler. If we, we're gonna walk down and look in some more coolers and see, oh, whatever. Wow. Okay, look, let me ask you this. How are you preparing? Yeah, we can uh, fry, we can cut, okay. and we can uh, like make a fillet. Fillet? Yeah, and then we can make a fry, or okay. we can back make a salty some food. You can kaiji raw maybe? Oh, uh, yeah. So, uh, we call that? Not, 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 just no medium. Okay. okay. Wow. Fish? Yeah. Ribbon fish. Yeah. Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Apache Pier. Sweet. We're moving around the pier here, we're doing some checking. They, uh, they appear to have slowed down for just a moment, but that's how they do every now and then. They come and they go. Uh, but when they come and, oh my goodness, uh, here's a nice, uh, hey, here's a nice lady right here. Uh, Ma'am, if I may introduce myself, I'm Captain Cook. Uh, what is your name? My name is Esther. 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 Wow, I love that name. Thank Esther. You. Okay, listen. Uh -huh. How are you doing? Yes, ma'am. 
How are you doing? Good, yeah. good. So you guys, you got some ribbon fish? Yes. How many? A lot. A lot? Yes. Okay, listen, where is your cooler? Can we, can we maybe, if we can? We My can cooler is over there. Okay, okay. Got it. This is your cooler right here, yes. Esther? Let me see what you got. Come back a look. One, two, three. Oh, my, she got a few. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That's a nice one right there. Yeah. Oh, she does. Look at all these. Are you kidding me? They go all the way down. My goodness me. There they are, guys. This is what they're after. Wow. Cutlass fish. Ribbon fish. Wow. Okay, Miss Esther. Thank you very much for showing us your cooler. Fantastic. Now listen, guys. The they have the Koreans, the Asians have one way of catching these fish. Uh, we, we talked about that already, but old Captain Cook here, you know he's a fan of the straws. We're gonna show you over here how the straws work. And cross your fingers with a little luck, we're gonna see if we can pull a couple out of this water for you. Okay, look at this friend, he's fishing right beside me. This is Mr. Warren, he's just caught one. Red straw that time. Oh, hey, it's not a big one. Oh, look at that. Quick release. Yeah, quick release. That one, this one's, this was one you can cut up. Oh my goodness. Don't let him bite me. Look at that. Uh, this was one you can cut up in strips. You cut it at an angle like this and make it a little bit long like that. And this one you can use to catch more bigger ones, hopefully. But, uh, oh, he's got another one. Hey, how, oh my goodness. Look at that. There's the difference. You're telling me there's no meat on them. We're going, we're going to take them to the sink here in a little while, and we're going to show you how we clean and prepare them, and how the Asians clean and prepare them. There's different ways. There's a, you can even make sashimi. You can eat it raw. I don't eat raw fish, but they seem to like it. And I have eaten these, and let me tell you what, they are the best tasting fish you'll ever eat. Oh my goodness. They're so sweet and flaky, and they're not strong, and they're not fishy. They are actually delicious, okay? Consider it, try it, you might like it. <laughs> they're not snakes, they're not eels, they're delicious. <laughs> okay guys, we talked a little bit with uh, Mr. Charlie down there and Mr. Same. Uh, this is one of the rigs they use uh, catching these ribbon fish. This is made out of braided, steel okay they don't cut it through with their sharp teeth and uh, a little swivel here and a little slipping a little slip sinker okay and, and we'll cut we'll, we'll take we're not going to use this method but we'll take the tag off and put it and put this up here's a hook right here this is size one okay offset shank this is for rubber worms you use in bass fishing pretty good deal there okay you put the hook in this little in this little uh, clip right here and uh, put it on there and put your cut bait on the hook and you hang it down in the water. We're talking like two thirds from the bottom, not on the top and not on the bottom, but down in the water a little bit. And they'll, they'll come around and get it. So this is what they did. Now, here we go with my method. We're gonna try the straws. We're gonna drop those in the water once again and see what these ribbon fish think about it. Okay? Guys, I found one of the best ways to take them off is if you grab that hook, turn it around. Look at that. It comes right off. That's easy, greasy, easy. Okay, here you go, buddy. I gotta find my flyer. All right, before I can even get my line in the water, that's what happened. Now, we're gonna let him secure this fish and I'm gonna drop mine in the water. Here we go. Come on, pick it up. Let's see how long this takes. We're going to go together. It's going to be a competition. We're going to see who catches the next fish. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. One pull to see. Yeah. Come up here and take a look at what we're doing over here. See my line go down? See the slack in it? I don't know if you can see that on camera, but there it is. We got the slack in the line. I pull it up and then it go back to the bottom. I pull it up to the top almost. Let it go back to the bottom. You pull it up with a little snap on it. Go down slowly. Oh, there it is. And that's all we can do. The rest, I assure you, is up to the fish. I, I hate to 
tell you, but they they have slowed down at this point. Um, nothing we can do about that, but they may come back in any minute. They may catch two at a time. Yesterday, yesterday on the stalls, I saw one guy catch three at one time. I haven't done that in years, but we have had a good day. I can promise you that. These people are going home with a lot of ribbon fish. Go! Okay, we got it though. I'm in the water. He made a good cast. Mine has a mouth, had a malfunction junction, but we got it. I'm in the water. It could happen. I got one. Oh yeah, I got one. Let's see what it is. He's coming up. Of course, he's not a baby. Okay. Oh my God! Look at that. Double trouble on a stick. Oh my God, catch a fish and make it quick. Ha <laughs> ha, wow. That's what I'm talking about. White straw and red straw. Yeah. It doesn't matter to these. Don't get in here. I'm gonna set this down. One of the main things, guys, is secure. Secure this line. Make sure you don't hook nobody. Safety is priority. Okay? Wow. That's how easy it is. Oh look, I dropped him up on one and he got caught on the other one. He's killing me over here. He's trying to get hooked. <laughs> okay, and there you go. He's on the deck. Let's see what this one's got here. Uh, they're not the biggest ones that we've been catching. I promise you that. There you go. Boom, meow. Boom, piling them up. Look, oh my God. Here you go. I'll put the flash right there. It says mine have it walked off. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Look down here. Oh, there you go. Never, if you can help it, never lay your hooks on the deck because they get in the cracks and you end up digging up. Wow! Let me show you this. Right here, you see that weight? That to these fish. Oh my God! That looks like a mullet. That was a new weight I put on there. I don't know if you can see them. Look at the teeth marks on this weight. They've been hitting the weight, thinking it's a mullet. So. Always be sure to hang a hook with a little swivel right beside the weight. And that's a little hook surprise. They're gonna, they're gonna not like that. But they get caught on the weight. Oh my goodness. Here we go, guys. Let me get these fish off this hot deck. Very important. Get them off the hot deck. Look at that. Eeny and meeny. Oh, they don't like that. Wow. One of the things I like to do, look, I like to do this little dick. You push him in there and you can wear him like a bracelet. Oh, isn't that? Oh, look out, look out. I'm dead. I'm all dead. You gotta wait. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna secure these fish. I'll be right back. We're gonna try it again. We're gonna swing a little. You don't have to cast it out, just flip it like that a little bit and let it swim. Let, let them come in back swimming like my fingers and swimming. And if they see it, if they see these straws, they think it's a little minnow that they'd like to eat. And they'll come in and get it. You bring it, they hit the bottom, you snap it up about that high and let it go back down. And right on. Sometimes, sometimes time you hit the water, they get it. Sometimes you gotta pump it a little bit. Oh, I had a bite. He tasted it. He comes back, he's mine. Now listen, now listen guys, you already know, these straws catch so many kinds of fish. This is just one type, one species that hits the straws. You've seen me catch pompano, red drum, Spanish look downs, blue runners, greenbacks, on and on and on I can go with the kinds of fish these straws catch. Well, right now, we're waiting on the Spanish mackerel to get here. As the middle of September gets here and this weather drops, it's a little nip in the air and cools down a little bit. We got we start catching Spanish mackerel and bluefish, and that's what I like to catch. That's what I'm waiting for. 
Right so now, ribbon fish are what's down there. Oh, I got one. I got one. You saw it. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness me. Let me get these flowers. Oh my goodness. There, oh look out, he's not happy. He's all upset. I can't catch it. There you go. Oh, oh god. He's hooked in the jaw. Okay, that's a little harder to get off when they're hooked in the jaw. But I can do it. I did it. Okay, hold it. There you go, guys. Okay. Alright guys, look. Look, you've seen once again, look at this guy. He's so upset. Oh, he's coming after me. Ah, okay. There you go. Look at that. Oh, you've seen what these straws can do. This is amazing. And uh, there's, there's more meat on there than you think. Now, if you want to come to the sink here right quick with me, I'll show you how we clean them. And, and we get somebody else to show you how they clean them. Okay? All right, stay with me. We're going, we're going to be, uh, show you how style we prepare this for the table. Look, look, you can take a knife. You gotta get close up in this, okay? Really close. Okay, and you're scraping. Look at all that. Can you see that? That silver comes off and you're lifting it up right in this area underneath my hand. That works pretty doggone good. Get all the silver off. It's not necessary, but it's a little fishy tasting for my taste. I don't like fish skin, but we got this look. Uh, Scotch bright. This is not the right pad. But there are the other plastic pads or chore boy or you can use it look and it really comes off look at that magic okay and you scrape it and clean it up real good well, on this one here it gums up a little bit so you have to keep rinsing it uh, more coarse type plastic does not gum up like that okay look you see all of that i got all that silver off i'm showing get it right in here this is the, if you don't have one of these a knife will work it, it, it just takes a moment or two to, to get it, okay? Look at that. We're doing it, okay? You don't have to worry about every square inch of the tail. You're not gonna get any. Now listen, this, this is a good one. You can find some meat on it, but uh, the bigger ones are what I like. If I'm gonna eat them, um, I like the bigger ones because people say there's not much meat on them, but there is actually meat on them that you can use. Look at that. Okay, that didn't take long. We're getting it. Uh, I'm lifting the stomach up here, and then I'll lift the back up to get that area right. You see how I'm doing that? There you go. Clean it off. Okay, here we go. Let's get the main body part right here. That really takes them off, but there are better pads to use. I don't have one. I'm just dealing with what I got. Yeah, right there. Look at that. It doesn't take too long. You can, you can make it go away with the right tool for the job, you know? Okay, here we go. Okay, almost. Oh yes, look at that. Okay, now now we're gonna rinse off. We'll rinse it off right here. Okay. Oh wow, look at that. And then we want to rinse off the work area a little bit there. Keep it clean. Everything must be clean. Okay. Like here we go. Now, let's see what we got here. I got some. Okay. There you go. That's pretty sure. Okay. Now. Let me see if I can fillet this one for you. Okay, you just drop it down. Now, they don't have any bones except a backbone in there, okay? And we're gonna take it off the backbone. When I get through, just let the knife do its job. It's kind of a bumpy backbone, but you can find it. And let it go right across the top of that backbone. And you're out of here. Look at that, look at that, guys. Wow, a little piece of thin meat. Now, them bigger ones, they're thicker. That piece of meat there will be really nice, about that thick. And this don't look like much, but it is so tasty. And very, very small chest cavity. Look at that. There's no, no waste. You don't even have to worry about that. I'm gonna just cut it right up. Look at that, gone. Piece of cake. And now we got a little piece of fin right here. That's no problem. Look at that, make it go away, huh? Okay, we got that off. Okay, now you can just go ahead and cut this one in half. And you dip it in some kind of coating. You can grind up saltines, or you can make a batter, or sprinkle, and, and you just drop it in the grease. 
really quick, drop it in the grease. Okay, drop it in the grease and make it go away. You put that in your mouth and taste it. It's like a fish chip. Now, I found, uh, personally, a nice thick coating on there. It's better. You can dip it in a batter and then turn around and drop it in something dry and it adds to it. Let it sit there for a few minutes. Put a little salt, pepper, or seasoning of your choice on it. And that's edible. Now, I'm gonna flip it over here and do the other side. I'm gonna see if I can take it off the, off the bone without. Now, oh, wait. Look, look, wait, right here. This guy is doing it the way the Asians do. He's cleaning it. He, he just gutted it off. Can we see, can we see? Yeah, he, he gutted it out like a normal fish. You guys all know how to do that. Not very much cavity for there. And he's leaving it like this. Now what you now what are you gonna do from this point? You gonna cut it like this? No, we're gonna cut it into pieces, skin it, and we're gonna eat like a sushi. He's gonna eat sashimi. Yeah. Are you kidding? Oh my, is it good? It's very good. What you got to put on it, uh, flavor? Uh hot pepper sauce. <laughs> oh, oh, but of course. Hot pepper sauce, he says. Yes, sir, uh, but of course. All right, that's one way to do it. This is done with it. Now, let me get it off right here. It's kind of tricky. You can't go down too low, and you can't come up too high, or you'll miss some meat. And as you can see how skinny they are, you don't want to miss no meat, I promise you that. <laughs> but look, okay, look, once again, once again, he does it. Oh, there's nothing left on this piece. Look at that. I did it. Well, the bucket's gone, but I'll just put it on again. I'm gonna turn it right here, lay it out, and get rid of that little piece of fin right there. Okay, and I'll come right here and get the little piece right there. Look at that! Oh my goodness, it's ready to go. Let me lay it right here. Oh, okay, there you go. Sweet. Don't look like much, but uh, I'm telling you, if this could, it don't look like much because this was a small one. Uh, actually, it would have been better to use this for bait. But I, I, I wanted to show you how we do it and how they do it. You've seen how we catch them, how they catch them. Six of one, half a dozen of the other. End result, all said and done, everybody eats. Captain Cook here.